Uh, I get mas like I'll get a, uh, professional massages like you know occasionally. That's good. Um, but yeah, I don't really, you know, I don't, I'm not. They're so obsessed with his money. They just really can't comprehend the fact that he just doesn't spend that much money. Hey, it's Christine Grace. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, today is another reaction video. Like the video on your way in. Let's get straight into it. I can't answer that. <laughs> like hundreds, thousands. Okay, so you had a pimp. You used to do sex work. Yeah. How many tricks have you had? I can't answer that. <laughs> like. Hundreds, thousands? I would say hundreds. I wouldn't say thousands. She said yes. Okay. And from what age to what age were you doing that? Um, 18 to now. Oh, okay. So still sort of doing it a little just bit. Like, just like one, maybe two. Okay. Not um, necessarily, not sexual all the time, but definitely using them for their money. So you were, what's the term? Um, finessing? Did you do the finesse? Like, Did you finesse? Like a hustler? I mean, like you do. Like you hustle these guys? Like in, a, a in, the, in the stripper sense, you do have to have that mentality because like you're, you're paying to be at this club and you're paying to work there to make this money so you do have to finesse men to make money at your job hmm. okay good times <laughs> yeah good times any crate what do you have like the most craziest sex worker pimp situation that ever happened um no not can i ask really? you a question what's up what's the most money you ever spent on a girl the most money I've yeah. ever spent on a girl? Mm -hmm. Most money I've ever spent on a girl. <sighs> Maybe, no more than a hundred, I think. I've spent like, at least like $1,500 on a guy before. On no some, like, no more than a hundred. Wow. Yeah. Oh, total, together? Brian? That's <laughs> so depressing. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not really like. What's your Roth IRA look like? I hope it's like <laughs> full. Like you better do, be doing Yo, the I've max saved, contribution because you're saving a lot of money, my friend. I will tell you this: <laughs> throughout <laughs> throughout the years, and listen, I want my super chatters. I want my super chatters to be yeah. confident in me, knowing that <clears throat> their contributions, their patronage to my channel, is not somehow benefiting. Women. <laughs> It's oh. not getting him laid. It's getting political, I feel It's like. not benefiting... Well, I, okay, before my, this channel, then. No, I mean, throughout... Never. I, like, you know, maybe I think I've treated a girlfriend to hibachi. That's nice. You know, 30, 40 bucks each. You know, I'm, I'm a generous guy. I'm really... <laughs> I'm a generous man. Money isn't everything to me. I don't think everything should be based upon money, like... I know what I do for a living, but that's something that I chose to do because of the, you know, the card life gave me. I had a not a not so good childhood, and this I'll, is just I'll, what I I'll, decided to do. Yeah, I'll also add to that. Of, of all the dates I've been on, I'd say the vast majority of them split the check. Wow. <laughs> I've split the check on the vast majority of dates. I've maybe paid a couple times. Do you get returning women? Like, we split oh, I lose women. Here. You lose them. But I lose like, women. Some of them come back. Some of them like stick around and yeah. keep. Yeah. What percentage? What percentage? Yeah. Well, uh, I, w I want to say first dates. I mean, it varies at what point. Because sometimes you have like a rough patch. Other times you're on you're hitting on all cylinders, you're doing good. Mm -hmm. But first dates, honestly, I'd say, I'd say one fourth of first dates will go further. That's fair. Th I think that's a good, that's a good. That, that could happen, that good. ratio can happen if you're even paying the bill. Even if you're full. paying. Yeah, exactly, absolutely. And there's nothing wrong with splitting the bill. Also, like, $100, like, they all acted like that was a terrible thing. Really don't see why how much money you put into a relationship equates to the success of that relationship whatsoever. It really shouldn't. I mean, I know it does because, well, modern women, but it shouldn't. For the date. Yeah. Which is exactly why I don't pay. Because the likelihood of any given date going anywhere anyways is so greatly diminished for a variety of reasons, chiefly that 
women have way more options now. There's dating apps, there's social media. Whereas back in the day, if you, if you went on a date, like back in the day, maybe you went on three dates, then you had a wife. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfuckers be out here going on six, seven dates a week and shit. Yeah, do you people go aren't out, getting married anymore. I people, think that's the well, problem. Do you yeah. go out with like bad bitches? Like what's your type? <laughs> like, I like nerdy STEM chicks. You like who stack study chicks? STEM. STEM. Oh, STEM, STEM like sorry. Science, technology, engineering, math. No, like I, smart. I like I like smart stem. girls. Um, I, yeah, smart kind of. Shy, I'm. I'd consider myself more introverted, so I like introverted girls. I like shy girls. Um, That's an interesting girls. career path to have for an introvert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I is it suppose so quick quick question how much money, maybe that's why I, no what, go ahead. what's the largest amount of money you've spent on just yourself so is it about spoiling other people or do you not spoil yourself either? i don't I, I don't really s spend a whole bunch on my honestly i don't really go on vacations much i probably should because mm. i'm kind of a stress case but mm -hmm. um uh i get like i'll get a uh professional massages like you know occasionally that's good um but yeah i don't really you know, I don't, I'm not- They're so obsessed with his money, they just really can't comprehend the fact that he just doesn't spend that much money. It just shows you the general consensus, the general mindset of people these days. They just, you don't spend loads of money all the time. Everything's about spoiling yourself, treating yourself, which always has to involve money for some reason. I think that's one of the, um, the, the pleasures of golf as well. Mm. I'm not mad, I don't like playing golf with women. No matter how good they are, I really don't. Your wife plays golf. She's a very good golfer, yeah. You don't, don't like to play, play with her? Very often with her no. Why not? Because I don't like playing golf with women. Why not? I like the company of men better at golf. Why? This shouldn't be controversial, but for some reason it is. It's very difficult to explain. It's just um, the it's more pleasurable playing golf with with men than women. Years ago, you did an interview which may come back to haunt you. What, you know what I'm going to say, right? No. Okay. You did an interview in which you said, uh, not the worst thing to slap a woman now and then. As I remember, you said you don't do it with a clenched fist. It's better to do it with an open hand. Mm. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. I, know, I would love that. I would change my opinion. You haven't? No. Not at all. You think it's good to slap a woman? No, I don't think it's good. I don't think, think it's bad. It must, I don't think it's that bad. I think that it... Part of me tells me that she doesn't actually care about what he has to say because she's asking a bunch of questions but then she's presuming that she knows what he's going to say. It's like, okay, do you want to hear what he has to say or do you just want to respond to him and tell him how you feel about what he said? You can say how you feel but don't paint it as, oh, I want to hear what you have to say. Like, no, you don't. You just want to back him into a corner and tell him what you think about it. It's entirely on the circumstances and if it merits it. Yeah. And what would merit it? Well, if you have tried everything else, and women are pretty good at this, they, they can't leave it alone. Yeah? They don't they want to have the, the, the last word, and you give them the last, last word, but they're not happy with the last word. They want to say it again. And, and get into a really is he wrong though is he wrong <laughs> situation then i think it's absolutely right to give a good slap yeah absolutely i'm pretty sure that i have seen in a bill burr skit him referring to this guy i think this is the guy that he's referring to i'm gonna have to go back and watch the bill burr episode but yeah i think i know what this interview is she gives you a good slap back well, then you get into another area. I mean, uh, then maybe she's going to like it, and then it becomes something else. I don't know. But uh... okay, I didn't know that was coming. Then she's beginning to like it. I mean, listen, from a Freudian psychology perspective, I don't know quite what he means by that. He's just said one very short sentence, but that is interesting. I would love to hear why he has come to that conclusion. Uh, uh, no, no. I, seriously, I think that. Uh, it's the last resort. He's not going to do it because he wants to do it. Eh? Wait till people see this interview. Are you going to get male? <laughs> Might get some female. <laughs> well. Do you ever slap your wife? No. No, she doesn't provoke it. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she takes me to the wire. She's very, you know, she's, uh, she's very much got her own views and opinion and everything. Mm -hmm. And she's French. And, you know, they're quite pregnant. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing some context here, but what's French got to do with it? She's French. She pushes me to the wire. And, uh, but, no, I mean, she, 
she's tiny anyway, <laughs> you know, and, uh, but I have, I have a, a, a violent temper, and I have, and I don't, I wouldn't want to stop. Do you know what? I know feminists are going to be screaming over this, but I actually think that this man is very self-aware. I have to give it to him. He is being extremely honest about himself, despite knowing how people are probably going to respond to it. And he's being very self-aware. And I tell you what, a man like this, who is more straightforward, to the point, self-aware, is far less dangerous than a man who doesn't see within himself that he has the capability to be violent. Because that's when you head down a whole slippery slope of problems, is when a guy thinks that he's outside the capabilities of his animalistic nature. Uh, heading. But I'm also quite strong. Mm-hmm. What makes your marriage work? That my wife has a lot of interests and in things. She's and totally absorbed with me. And we have an Why is that that woman's reaction? Wow. Like, wow, your wife's interested in you. Like, are you not obsessed with your husband? It's just funny to me that women hear something like that, especially coming from a guy, and, and they see it as, like, oppressive. It's like, no, actually, that's, that's how it's supposed to be. That's actually really sweet. That's kind of wonderful. Separations. That's, we've been doing some things all the time, so we come back here, there's always yeah. something to talk about. I, I couldn't be with the same person all day, every day. It would bore me to tears. I completely agree with him. Like, you shouldn't be around the same people all the time, all day, every day. It'll drive you mad. Like, <laughs> your, your conversations are just going to die out. Like, I was actually having this conversation with my dad the other day. Like, being around the same people all the time. Like, if you don't get out and talk to different people, like, it's going to drive you around the bend. Do you believe in fidelity? Do I believe in fidelity? Yeah. Yeah, I believe in fidelity, yeah. Your wife is totally absorbed in you. Yeah. yeah. Are you totally absorbed in your wife? As much as I can be, yeah. But as I say, I have to go... For example, if I go to make a film, she doesn't come with me the first week. Mm -hmm. I just... I can come and go and do exactly what I need to do to get it right, for me. Mm. And uh, she understands that. And uh, so she has sufficient interest in things herself anyway, not to need to be sitting there. I swore when I was preparing the questions for this interview that I would not use the phrase male chauvinist. But you are a male chauvinist, aren't well, you? And what is a male chauvinist? Well, it's a guy who kind of, it's that so, sort of macho, uh, you know, women are kind of nice as long as they're not too much around and a good whack. He didn't say that. To be fair to him, he didn't say that. I'm giving him a little whack. No, no, no. You're lifting it right out of context. Okay, then you tell me. Some no, you right. tell me what you, you, you. I don't profess to be macho. I don't profess to walk around smacking her. I never smacked my wife. Uh, it's the I'm attitude. Saying, it's the attitude. The attitude. What does that sound like, guys? It's not what you said. It's the way you said it. Oh my gosh. Oh. Mm. You mean I should. My attitude should be different when no, I'm talking about women. Okay. No, it's okay. It's just... You well, you're saying it's okay, but it's clearly not okay, because what are you doing right now? Like, if it was okay, you'd just be listening to what he has to say, but instead you're having to proclaim what you think, and not, you know, you, you, you're just thinking about how you're feeling. I wasn't going to say this, but now I'm going to say it, and you, you just, you really want him to know how you feel. And then you're going to go, oh, it's okay. Like, well, it's clearly not okay. That's why you feel this need to insert yourself into this interview instead of just interviewing. I don't I don't like playing golf with women, that's a crime. I don't go and insist playing with them. So why should they come and insist playing with me? Also in the, in the golf club when there's a room for men only, I think it's terrific. And why would they want to go in if they're not wanted there? Eh? Now, I suppose I could go and say, well, where's the ladies club here? I must go and get some <laughs> games of these wonderful 36 handicappers. And, you know what I mean? Equal time. Coming equal up with Equal rights. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about the Equal Rights Amendment? Do you know that the amendment we're trying to have passed in our country? Well, I think if, I think it's unequal rights now with the women. I think they've got everything going. You do, huh? It's, it gets into... Uh, I think that you should get paid if you do the equal job, yeah. I know I work harder and earn more money to make things happen, mm -hmm. uh, which has been my role since I can remember. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, if the guy is going to be the one that's got to go out and do the work to feed everybody so that they can have the kids or go to school or have a car or whatever, then 
he has they have to give him a primary consideration no now there, there's there are some exchanges yeah, you know, where the wife says okay i'm going to work and you can do the cooking and bring up the kids well if, if some men are suited for that i think it's terrific i would don't think i'd be very good at that i don't think you'd be very good at that either then it's better i should do something i'm good at then she would be happy too you know what about both working and both helping at the house and both helping with the kids well that happens in part do you respect a woman's opinion as much as a man's but of course okay of course okay. why wouldn't i all right but you know there are stupid women eh and there are and stupid, there are stupid men. men okay yeah. okay <laughs> so you you we have a corner of the market on all our faults eh Mm. We we've, we've been talking somewhat seriously but somewhat teasingly too. Do you mind when someone says you're a male chauvinist? You've heard it before. I don't mind honestly. No. Sean, what do you think is the biggest fault in your opinion that a person can have? The biggest fault? Yeah. You mean other than being a chauvinist? Other than being a chauvinist pig. Yeah. Pig would have been used. Um stupid. I hate stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say it. I like this guy. I can't lie, I like him. <laughs> I really like people who are just so frank and to the point. I feel like women, at least in from what I'm getting from this particular woman in in this interview, we really want people to almost all be the same and we like to tell people how things should be how you should behave how your attitude should be you know what's the right thing but i don't like that i think it um it makes the world boring there's all different people out there and there's all different characters um and you know some of them are really really interesting and some of them are quite funny and yeah this sean connery guy this interview i, I <laughs> I like him, I can't lie, I, I think he's quite funny, he's very frank, he's to the point, he knows what he thinks, he knows why he thinks it. Yeah, I, th <laughs> I think this is really interesting. Sean Connery is... Almost a male chauvinist pig. <laughs> That was brilliant. I'm sure there will be many women in the comments with something to say. And that's good. It's good that people have all different things to say. But I didn't see anything criminal in this. I didn't see anything bad. Honestly, I really didn't see anything that I can be like, this is a dangerous man. We really shouldn't even be looking at this, talking about this. Guy has a life. Guy has his opinions. Clearly successful. He's being interviewed for a reason. Now, what is she doing? That is a lot of money. Like, seriously a lot of money i can't believe that i can't believe it i mean it says there that she's in the top 0.01 percent of all creators so what is she doing is it the marketing like or is it that you're doing something special like i don't actually know how it works but that's crazy like that's a lot of money that is so much money average salary is like what 25k a year in dollars let's say that's 30k a year even 1 million is like ridiculous even 100,000 is ridiculous even anything over 50,000 is ridiculous i can't believe how much money very open and honest about everything <laughs> but like some people would probably say that about me if they met me i mean they kind of went off on a tangent there but uh 57 million on only fans i wish someone could explain to me like how does that happen 57 million is that like total or even still like it's just a number that's beyond comprehension how do you even make a million like maybe i'm just underestimating just how big the market is it just really baffles me it really baffles me. I just, I don't understand from the guy's perspective what the appeal is because there's free corn everywhere. So like, how does someone make that much money when there's like the free product available? I don't know. Really intrigued and just baffled. That's so much money. Like so much money. Anyway, why don't you guys let me know in the comments and yeah, I'm just so shocked. I'm so shocked. I feel like we live in a day and age where we've almost been desensitized to like the value of money. Like we see all of these podcasts and there's all these girls saying how much they make per month. Like these girls be like, yeah, I make 40,000 in a month. And it's like, that's literally some of us, not even. That's a yearly salary for someone who's worked for decades. Like most of us girls are here making half of that in a year. So how does that, how does that, how does that happen? Yeah, let me know in the comments. I'm intrigued. If you like this video, as always, please do give it a thumbs up on your way out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of my content and I will see you very soon in the next one. Take care.